to tell y'all the truth. I try to tell you the truth. So today is all about this. What is it? I need a hook right here. I got hooks, but they're being used. They're being used right now. Okay, I could move that one down. I did move this one over. I got my hats hanging. I could like unhang my hats, right? It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. You gotta you gotta use it for what it's worth. You know what I'm saying? At this point, y'all, I'm actually ready to go outside and start a fire with some fucking wood and a cast iron skillet and start cooking. That's how fucking often this shit I I'm in a wilderness now. I'm in a wilderness. And Frank has made it out of the wilderness. I mean, has made it out from under the bed. Why do I look like Anne Frank for real? Are y'all serious? I look like fucking Anne Frank, don't I? I look like Anne Frank. Are you fucking kidding? I actually look like Anne Frank. Look at, I am not, look at my face. I look like Anne Frank. Are you freaking kidding me? No fucking way. Are you fucking kidding me? This is true. Why does Terrell and Chris Brown look alike? It's like, is he your father? Or are you his brother? Y'all understand what I'm saying? My cousin, and my cousin Terrell looks like Malcolm Jamal one or two. They look alike too. And I think they're about the same age. Because, like, what, Malcolm Jamal is still in his 40s, right? Because I think Terrell's still in his 40s. Because I think he's, like, two years older than me. So, he'll be, like, 46, right? So, anyway, yeah. So, it's like, yeah. Y'all look alike. Chris Brown, Malcolm Jamal wanted, and my cousin Terrell. It's like, Terrell, what did you do? Like, what did your mom Are you, like, a clone? You know what I'm saying? Are you guys clones? Are you guys, like, real people? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I have never seen this shit in my life. When you see my cousin's brothers, they look exactly like them. Gerald Maurice Rankin? Nah, you ain't got nothing on them. On none of them. I'm just like, okay, you look like my dad's best friend, but you don't look like my cousin. That's the problem. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem. That is the problem. It could be a problem. But he is possessed. Somebody was just saying that on this shit. That Mo is possessed. He is. I'm probably the only person that can help him. That's why they just like stay away. Because all these people are crazy. These women are crazy. And y'all done fell for the pussy. It's fucked. And some young pussy too. Some young and dumb pussy. Young and dumb. Okay. So here we go. What are your favorite creative outlets? Well. I like writing sewing being myself i like painting i like music i like dance i like knitting and i like singing so that's what the picture is for today you know what i'm saying like it's like all these um uh, little drawings little illustrations of what i like to do y'all see what i'm saying so i'm not a good illustrator but i'm getting better i'm getting i'm not a hundred percent but i'm but I'm there. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I'm not 100%. But I'm right there. I'm right there. Okay. Um, What type of pace and energy do you, do you thrive in? So pace. I'm like a fast pace. Like I have to have five or six projects. Like so if I had the chance, I would set this room up to where I have a painting here, watercolor there. I'll have like a song I'm working on here. Uh, so I'll have my shows laid out, whatever. You see what I'm saying? I might be knitting while I'm doing something, while I'm talking to somebody, like giving them advice. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I'm just like a all-around type of person. So it's like, that's why I like going to my school, because as a techie, I learned how to light design, set design. You see what I'm saying? I, le I learned how to design um, costume design, all this different stuff. Then I might take a minute and read a little bit of mama and think about the designs and the set for the mama scene or whatever. Y'all see what I'm saying? I might think about whatever. And it's like, I'm just always creating. And then I might come up with like, oh God, that that's horrible. We need to change this because that's not good for education. Let me change this. And then I'll go back and design a graphics for it. Then I come back out and I can design a business for it. Then I can make a business plan for it. So I'm just like, all day that's what I do. That's what I do all fucking day. All day. Whether y'all know it or not, I do it all day. Um, If I had a pr printer, I would probably print all the shit out. You know, I always have a business plan for somebody. So, that's probably why they want to be on my computer too. Because I create the business plan and everything. And then I never use it. Because sometimes, you see... Okay, like, y'all, I was going to do these little crystal things on the shoes. 
And <clears throat> I told somebody else to do it. So when I went to make the business plan, because I don't have all the stuff, um, it costs a lot of money. Like, I need glue. I need the tools. I need all this different stuff. And now I see she in, I could probably do it cheaper. So what I was going to do is put the cost of the tools and all this stuff inside of the business plan, right? So what happened is, is like, I would not make a profit until... I would make a profit, but then I would have to buy more supplies. Y'all get what I'm saying? So anyway, what happened is, it just ended up being not profitable for me. So when I started getting money, it was like, okay, I could start a business, but that's not the business. So then I came up with something else. It's a business idea. I came up with something else, and it was cheaper. So it's like always like, so then I make that business plan, and it's like, okay, that's on time. I can make a good profit. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's like I can sell it for a low price or a high price and still make a good profit. So that's it. It's like I just always look for what's going to give me the most burn for my buck. Y'all get what I'm saying? So I like, it's not a fast-paced environment, and I don't think they have this as pace. I like a intellectual environment. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's like an intellectual pace. That's what the pace, that's what the pace would have to be for me. Intellectual. Because it's like, if I don't get anything from it, what the fuck am I doing it for? Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's like, if I can't, if this can't lead me to another idea to create some money or create wealth, then it's like, what the fuck do I do it for? What's the, what's the point of it? What's the point of it? That's not one. You understand? And so I don't have to do everything else because I'm an older person. Like, I don't have to worry about culture. And I don't have to worry. And this is even if you start to be, like, a rapper or a singer or whatever. Like, start worrying about culture, the type of culture you want to bring. And when I say culture, it's like, what type of environment do I want? Do I want, like, a I need to dress up every day environment? Do I want a casual environment? Or do I want to, like fun environment do i want a spiritual environment like where am i coming from like if you look at jane aiko and you look at uh big sean big sean is like he seems suburban y'all see what i'm saying but it's like nah dude i got a lot of shit to say because i'm a black man in america period and so it's like then he becomes hip-hop so it's like he gives off this like hip-hop vibe but now he's like moved into spiritual spirituality so he's all like he's always been spiritual if you notice him and Kyrie kind of look alike right so then you see Kyrie and he has like this spiritual vibe you see what I'm saying so if they remain true to themselves and to that culture they never have to put on a fake face for anybody y'all understand what I'm saying it's like then that's when they say less you understand because it's like you can feel the culture off me that's why you can say less Jeanne Aiko is like spiritual, but it's a different spiritual vibe than Erica Badu. Y'all see what I'm saying? Because Erica Badu is totally vegan and Erica Badu is more black and all this different stuff. Jeanne Aiko is like more mixed. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, um, you start to look at everything and it's like, that's it. That's the culture. That's your culture. So you can say less. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? Because your culture is in everything that you do. Your culture will be in your music. Your culture will be in the food you eat. Your culture will be in this. You see what I'm saying? When you're creating a school, that's what you want to do too. The rules are actually something that makes the culture. Y'all understand what I'm saying? The rules make the culture. And the rules don't always have to be negative. The rules can actually be positive. Like, you know, be today, be kind to people today. That's not allowed in this classroom. That's not allowed in this school. That's not, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, um, but this is allowed in this school. That's allowed in this school, man. I like that. That's allowed in this school, homie. That I like that. That's allowed in this school, young lady. I really do like that. I like that. You see what I'm saying? So is that a choice you're making for college? The culture will start to come out in everything you say. It'll come out of your body. but It'll just seep out of your pores into the life of other people. You understand what I'm saying? And so it's like, that's what it is. It's like, y'all, it's so many people that keep trying to come for me. And it's like, you don't even know what that culture is, baby. You don't know this culture. You can't have it. You can't touch it. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, Cardi B, she named her daughter culture. But let me tell y'all this. Cardi B has a very mother-like culture. It's like, don't see. I'm not going to let you see shit. You understand of what I'm doing? I love that about Cordy. It's like, I'm a mother. I'm a mother first. I can't do this for y'all right now because I can't put on a show. 
So Cardi now has to has moved from she was this single person to being a mother. So she still has a persona as a single, like as a single, like not even a mother, like just as Cardi, right? So her Cardi persona is what you guys get to see, but you never get to see how Cardi is a mother. Y'all see, I'm saying that's why y'all always trying to criticize something she doing. And it's like she don't even let her kids see Cardi. Y'all get it on what I'm saying? So it's like, with Cardi, you can see, okay, I'm still, I, Cardi has, Cardi has a, I guess she has a up on us too. Because Cardi can do that. Y'all get what I'm talking about? Cardi ain't, Cardi's not being untrue to herself. So if her daughter look at her one day and say, you did whip shots. Cardi can say, yeah, I did, but you were at your grandma's. You see what I'm saying? That's how that's going to go. Because Cardi is still, Cardi is still young. So Cardi still got more life to experience and all that stuff. So Cardi is experiencing life, period. At the same time, Cardi is being a mother, period. And so it's like the experience and the exposure that she'll have with having that dual situation is the best. I think the same thing kind of happened with Diana Ross, too. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's like she was a mother. And it's like y'all just took it as if... And I think other people took it other ways. So it's like... It's like all of them had that dual experience. So some people, y'all, come out and it's like... Why are you acting like this? That's why it's like y'all young people come out and we like, what the fuck? What did you... What have you gone through? That's what I'm asking. What have you gone, gone through? Like, what is it that you did? They just giving Megan the stallion every trait that I have. Oh, I graduated college. Okay, but did you have a college experience? No, you went to a house. You had a car. You had, you see what I'm saying? You had a couple of dogs. I don't know what the hell you had, but be yourself. You see what I'm talking about? It's like y'all taking her through my fucking life and then asking, then expecting her to rap like she supposed to be me now. And it's like you can't do that because you didn't have the experience. If I was to go back and write something when I was in college, we'd be talking about boys. We'd be talking about the first time we had sex. We ain't gonna be in there talking about this nigga ate me out and all this stuff. And I'm talking about, I was surprised when somebody ate my ass. I was like, this nigga is eating my ass. Like, it just be like, shit just, it just roll over your fucking head. And so it, it's not a situation where you had an upper hand or anything like that it's like y'all have to like calm the fuck down like this not your it's like that's not your that shouldn't be your experience in life that's what i'm saying it don't sound right the same thing with chloe bailey y'all just be like that's your experience you see what i'm saying like if that's your experience y'all got life fucked up i just saw this little uh youtube thing where this girl she was in there with the football guys and they was in there picking on her you know what i'm saying and so it's just like that's it. Like, I, you see what I'm saying? I, it's like, what happened to that? So it's like, yeah, that's, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's, they, they got a friendship with her. You see, she turned on the camera. They know she about to turn on the camera. They finna act the fool on the camera. They really, and they still stay to the side. Let her be the center of attention. And so it's like, okay, so what, how do we rap about that? You get what I'm talking about? It's like, y'all missing a rap. Like, it was like, I just heard Silk, too. Let me look inside your soul, oh, my baby. Y'all see what I'm saying? I want to make you lose control, control. All I remember is the song. The feeling I get from the song. I don't remember wanting to make somebody lose control. The song too grown for me. When my when, when my stepdaddy was telling me that's too grown for you, it was too grown for me. Y'all understanding what I'm saying? The what was really the type of shit y'all should you know? I uh I can't I begin to take the long way home just so I can be alone. To see, you see what I'm saying? To think of how to say it'd be fucked up if um. Uh, uh, new edition came out with Candy Girl. Candy Girl, I want to eat you out. And it's like, no, nah, y'all just like forcing y'all self into this situation that's a, like longevity. That shit will wear you out. That's why I'm like, y'all got hoes running the industry for real because it's like, where the songs at for kids? Y'all see what I'm saying? Like, where you had a crush on a man and it's like, you know what I'm saying? We was on the bus humping each other and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all moved straight into fuck this nigga. 
And it's like, oh, fuck that bitch. I'm gonna fuck a hoe up. This my side bitch. That's what baby was doing. And you like, dude, that is a young chick. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's like, I kind of started liking your girl. What's her name? Um, What's this girl, the little girl that I was trying to take up for? Blake wife. What's his, what's her name? The little the little um mixed child. I don't know her name, y'all. I don't forgot the Danny Lee. Y'all see what I'm saying? That's why I was like feeling Danny Lee, cause I'm like that sound like some shit you can put on the school ground. It's like y'all just got these women out here like they hoes. Chris Brown. Same thing with him. I'm not shocked that his music has moved into what well, it's moved into fucking robot tussing. Y'all see what I'm saying? Because at first he was a kid. Usher was a kid. And it's like y'all have to listen to the pace of the music. That's what I'm saying by pace. You gotta listen to how it's going up. How it how it you know, here I stand. He couldn't come out with that shit at first. He don't know nothing about no fucking marrying nobody. He's 16 years old. Beyonce career. They in there, can you pay my bills? Can you? Girl, when you get grown, you be like, fuck that nigga. I'm talking about a good man is a good man. When you get grown, you understand. Sometimes he gonna have his ups and downs too. And for you to just always say he gotta be there to give you money and you can make the money yourself, it just be like, I don't know. That's why I be like, y'all not friends. That's why the music be like that. Y'all just sit somewhere and then look at somebody else's life and be like, oh, this is what they doing. And it's like, no. No. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. That's not what they doing. Because when you get grown, sometimes your man loses his job. And he take a whole other turn, baby. He'll become a shade tree mechanic and start making shit on the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't shift with him, or he can't shift with her, then that's something that, you see what I'm saying? It's like, y'all talking about shit, and it's always like, I'm going to dog you out. And it's like, it ain't nobody to dog out. And that's the other thing. It's like, it ain't no neutral songs. Like, where you just like, the best song I've heard so far is Tank, Morning. And y'all know that's because I like that, whatever her name is. But I just like that song, Morning. And it's like Tank. Tank has a culture. It's, it's a sex culture. It's like, I know when I put on Tank, I ain't got to worry about not feeling sexy. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, so, that's something y'all really need to think about when y'all coming out as artists and stuff, too. Because some of this shit is ridiculous. I'm telling you, energy. Um... So, I'm going to talk about energy. Let me go ahead and get to what I got to do. I might not paint my picture today because I'm talking too much. I've got to eat. Okay, y'all. So... I'm going to go ahead and color it. I got to color, eat, and read at the same time. This job is getting too hard for me. This is too hard. At school, y'all, too. This is too hard. Okay, the golden energy of what it is and how it works. And as I'm talking about, 10 signs you need. Let's do 10 signs you need to clear your energy first. So, 10 signs that you need to clear your energy. Sudden mood swings. Uh, feeling exhausted or drained, or drained, feeling the need to hide, feeling anxious, agitated or overwhelmed, sensing someone else's energy within your space or body, uh, feeling unsettled or fearful, and seeing sensing negativity, darkness or evil, picking on, uh, picking up on sensing or experiencing other people's health complaints, picking up on sensing or experiencing other people's emotions or issues. Y'all see how serious this shit is? Cause it's the shit we going through for real. When you feel unable to let go of the shock or discomfort of being around conflict arguments or aggression feeling like something is out uh it's not right or off but not knowing what or why 
um y'all see like when my back started hurting i had to just clear my energy and um here's some energy it's meditation spiritual practices performing healing on yourself or others emotional upsets arguments or conflict interactions with um oh this is after so you should clear your energy after meditation spiritual practices performing healing on yourself or others emotional upsets arguments or conflicts interactions with negative people being negative in a negative environment whenever you feel bad vibes and when you feel when you're feeling stuck irritable or overwhelmed and need to shift um so just clear your energy safely and that's it like some of this stuff i don't know i'm trying to get to clear your entire energy chakras and auric field with rainbow light what's rainbow light and it tell you in this article so just click on it i didn't really read the article y'all so i don't want to say something and then i and i don't agree with it oh so you can go into rainbow light okay okay and she got a master class all right so that's different all right so yeah i, I agree with her about clearing your energy but i don't agree with her on how to clear your energy so the next thing is the golden energy what it is and how it how to work with it okay so when i was first learning the basics of wait a minute let me see the golden energy also known as golden light is a stream of spiritual energy coming down from the the the, the divine uh why do you need golden energy Y'all, I'm not going to read this to y'all because I did not, I did not prepare today. Calm it down through visualization. Im imagine a stream. I had this dream this morning, y'all, that something that I was supposed to be a principal, right? And so somebody was just walking around. They were like, I can't do this no more. Like, they was like, I can't be the principal no more. And so I was like, okay, hope. Okay. 
Next, energy pr pr protection. Put an imaginary bubble around yourself so things bounce off of you. While in the shower, imagine the water as white golden light. Energy washing away any negative energy down down the drain. At the same time, filling every soul with chakra with new balance energy. Visualize your always holding a mirror face out to deflect. I mean, yeah, what's being projected onto you. Wear protective crystals, tourmaline, obsidian, hematite. You'll like hematite just like a magnet. Clear your organ or space with sage, or you can use what are these things called? Um, sage and or Palo Santo. So Palo Santo is a stick. Cause sage to me, like I said, it smell like bad pussy. I ain't playing. I mean, like you know, it just smell like pussy. You don't smell like bad. It just stink to me. Um, and that's it. So it's like, y'all, somebody snapping. Like I told y'all, they snapping about mo. Get him out of there because somebody really is possessing him. And it's probably because he's a good looking man. They want to know what that feel like. Just like that girl with 50, somebody was saying, 50 said he going to be out the country for a little while. She took a trip out the country. Like, they's like, 50 not with her or something like that. I don't know what the fuck going on at uh, what's your Cuban link. So, I heard y'all. That's it. That's all. I'm going because I think that's enough explanation today. I think the whole thing about the pace. I can't put that on a Pinterest board. If you want to read about the energy stuff I saved, then go ahead. It's there. It's there. But, for real, in life, you got to slow the fuck down like it's like some of this stuff just not um it's like how could y'all be you can't be us y'all got the information in thought these young chicks can do that stuff y'all don't even have a body yet and y'all think cause Megan built like a stallion it's too much it really is it's too much Y'all gotta let them go too. Y'all holding the world hostage now. Y'all straight up did this shit through the Holocaust, man. Anyway, have a good day.